What is that? Too? Hey. <laughs> Why is it not focused on me? Okay. Hey. Okay. Hi, lovelies. Welcome to my channel. My name is Trey Juliet, and today's video is a Q and A. So I asked a question on my Instagram stories. Like people should ask me questions about natural hair care, and I got a few that I would love to answer. So let's just get straight into the video. So the first one is how to keep your twist out for longer time and moisture. So there are many secrets to a perfect twist out. I have loads on my channel. I'm like, my most popular video is how to twist for twist out. So I know what I'm saying. <laughs> so the, um, the first thing I would tell you is, uh, first of all, the core definition that you get from a twist out starts from deep conditioning, right? Using the right deep conditioner to make sure that your curls are already popping before you rinse out and then you begin to style your hair. Now you need the best, depending on your porosity, you, I would suggest that you do definitely need a leave-in conditioner and a curl defining cream and then you seal with an oil. So that's like, those are the things that you need to use and then twist properly because if you don't twist properly, your curls will still not be defined. Now how to keep those curls to last for longer? The key is when you sleep at night, you plop your hair up. So you put it you put it in a high pineapple, very loose, and then you can use a satin scrunchie to hold it up at the top of your head and then you wrap a satin scarf around it and then the next day you just like literally just shake and go. <laughs> so as your hair grows older, after two days, I do suggest that you add twists. So you twist your hair up in loose twists for about five, six, six twists if your hair is not as thick in density but then if your hair is thick you know then i would suggest that you twist your hair in about a dozen twists and then you plop your hair up as i said and then just wrap your hair around with a satin scarf and then the next day all you need to do is just simply take your hair out and then shake and then you'll be fine so so this is like the secret to keep your hair defined for a whole week. But then what you also need to know is that as your hair gets older, it's going to get bigger. It's going to get, the curls are going to get looser and then your hair is going to get bigger. So, so in case you don't want your hair to be bigger, which I don't know if any natural doesn't like that. But in case you're a natural that just wants your defined curls, you don't want any big hair, then I suggest that you spray water and then retwist in smaller sections. When you retwist in smaller sections, your hair stays defined and stays a smaller. It doesn't like get, get big, okay? <laughs> so I hope that was helpful. Now, second question is, how to deal with thinning ends? Even after th trimming, they get they thin out again. Okay, so I'm currently going through hair loss. As some of you may already know on my channel, my hair is thinning. So this question is like made for me. And it's it's um, as simple as you know caring for your hair properly. So I know when I say that that's a big vague. That's a bit. It sounds a bit vague. But then the key thing is when you moisturize your hair, always make sure to focus on the ends of your hair. Your ends are the oldest parts. They'll always be the first parts to break off. So when they begin to thin out again, that means they're already breaking off. And another thing that most people don't know is when you wear hairstyles, low bonds, high bonds, puffs, whatever it, th whatever it is, <laughs> it's the ends of your hair that stick out. And that band is putting pressure on the lower parts of your hair. And over time, that pressure it puts on the lower parts of your hair causes it to thin out. So it's very, very important that you focus on the ends, on the length and but mostly the ends of your hair. Always make sure that you put the most products on there because at the end of the day, they actually dry out faster than the length of your hair because it's more porous because it's the oldest part. So that's a way to prevent your hair from, from thinning out quickly. Um, sometimes it's inevitable, especially you know with wear and tear, with damage, with just like everyday tangling split ends and single strand knots sometimes it's inevitable but once you follow the tips i just gave you you should see a difference in a couple of months and your hair wouldn't be thinning out and even if it does it wouldn't be thinning out as quickly as it used to before okay i hope that helped all right so moving on to the next question is 
how do you make your hair stretched that's how do you make your your stretched hair last and not shrink whenever you style just as in your profile pic the key to making stretched hair last is not i know it's like contradictory to every natural hair tip out there well the key to making your stretched hair last is not spraying water ow i just bit my i just bit my lip okay the the key to making your stretched hair last is not spraying water i know i'm gonna <laughs> yeah i know it sounds contra contradictory to like everything in the natural hair book but the key is not spraying water rather use a water-based leave-in conditioner or water-based hair mist that way your hair doesn't shrink like so much because when it's just plain water your hair will like go back to being an afro but then when it's it's already in an emulsion that is mixed with oils then it weighs the hair down so that that's that's honestly my secret so every time you see my hair stretched in any photo that I put online on Instagram or anywhere that you see my photo that's honestly the secret I just I moisturize my hair by using water-based moisturizers not just water so that way my hair doesn't shrink up after all the all the energy I use to stretch it okay so that's my tip for that so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if there are more questions you'd like me to answer, if you like more Q&A videos. Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to live well, live great, and pray always. God loves you and God bless you. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, lovelies. Bye. Distance, yeah, but we love like this. We cannot miss each other. Yeah, yeah. Please don't play no games with me. Just hit me up on my line, yeah. But there's one thing you need to know. My heart just wants to see you. Me, I know, yeah. You can run back to me, you know this. I'll be your lifeline, yeah. I promise you can call on me. Calling, calling. I'm the one you to fall in, I'm the one that yeah, you lean on yeah, yeah. So tell me who better than me for you no. Cause I don't want anyone else but you So why don't you love me? You put yourself way above me yeah, yeah. But there's one thing you need to know yeah. My heart just wants to see you grow, yeah You know that I need you so, yeah I'll be your lifeline, yeah I promise you can call on me Callin', callin'